Hello, it's Dansky here with another quick lesson. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the absolute quickest way to set up a responsive grid for responsive web design in Adobe Photoshop. If there's a quicker way out there to do this, then bravo to you for finding it because this is absolutely incredible. And a massive thank you to Cameron McAfee who made this. So I'll put a link to his Twitter below. Um, and also my friend Tim, who told me about this in the first place. So again, a link to Tim below if you want to say thanks or hi or anything. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to your Safari or your web browser. I've got it preloaded here. And then you want to go to www.guideguide.me.me. Okay, and you'll be taken to this page. And you want to download for Photoshop. And then you've got installation instructions here and you just install it using the Adobe Extension Manager. And there's plenty of information as well if you fancy reading up on it. But once you've got that successfully installed, just quit Photoshop, restart it, and you should have it, if it's all gone correctly, as a palette on the right hand side called Guide Guide. And when you click it, you get a whole set of options here, okay? And you can have a fiddle around and play with these as you like, but what I'm gonna be doing is showing you the main ones that I use to set up a responsive grid really, really quickly. So I'm gonna to go to File and New, and let's create the width at 100 and, no, 1170. And the height can be whatever it needs to be, so let's just say 2000. Okay, and I'm setting it at this width just because it's, uh, it's a good width to create a responsive 12, 12 column grid and if you're using something like bootstrap uh, it works perfectly with that size okay so you can set that up there so these are the ones that I'm going to want to pay attention to okay this one here this is the number of columns Ah, you can see when you mouse over it tells you what they all do so we want 12 columns in our grid so I'm gonna enter 12 and press enter ah no I'm not I don't want to press enter let's undo that so I want to enter 12, then I want to go down here to the column width, and I want each column to be 70 pixels wide. And then here, this is the column gutter, and I want the gutter to be 30 pixels. So once I've entered all those three values, and only then you click make grid at the bottom, and then it will create your responsive grid. If you press enter before, like I just did, it will create it too early for you. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see. So there we have the responsive grid. Okay, so we've created this one in a step-by-step -step kind of manner. I'm just gonna close this down now. And I want to show you in actual practice how quick it is to create this when you're using it. And again, massive thanks to Karen for this because it saves so much time. And also, you know it's going to be accurate. Um, okay, so I'm gonna create my new document. I've got my width and my height already in there. Click OK, Guide, Guide. OK, it's pre-entered, but I will type it again. So we've got 12, 70, 30, make. Extend the canvas out to 1920. There you go. Bar the black bits on the side. It takes no time at all to set this up. Well, I hope that was helpful. It was a massive help when, uh, when Tim showed that to me. Okay, so have fun with that one. It will save you a lot of time. Thank Cameron, and I'll see you in my next video.